that's the unboxing of the brand new V20 series. We have the V20 and the V20 Pro here with us. So they're obviously sharing a lot of similarities since they're in the same series. But here are some differences that you can see right off the bat. So the first thing is obviously the color. Um, this is a V20 Pro in Moonlight Sonata. It's a very elegant white that kind of reminds you of bridal gowns, I guess. But this V20, this is in Sunset Melody and this is a very, very pretty color. So you get to see like there's a bit of yellow, orange, pink, blue, purple. Basically all the colorful colors you can see on the phone. No matter how you twist it, different directions, you get different colors. And another difference I would say is the headphone jack. So on the V20, you get a headphone jack. V20 Pro doesn't have a headphone jack, which is why it came with an adapter. So another difference is because um, there's no headphone jack here, so the SIM card tray is located at the bottom of the V20 Pro, whereas on the V20, it's on the side right here. And the last difference that you can actually spot is this notch. So because the V20 Pro has a dual 44 megapixel camera. So now moving on to the display, if you actually put this phone side by side, you realize that the V20 is slightly taller, but they actually come with the same size display. So it's a 6.44 inch AMOLED full HD plus display but the V20 Pro is slightly more vibrant probably because the contrast ratio is much higher compared to this one. Now, specs wise, they both come with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage and it's non-expandable but the V20 Pro has a Snapdragon 765G chipset which means it supports 5G connectivity while this one comes with a Snapdragon 720G chipset so no 5G for this one. Also, both phones come with a 4000 mAh battery each and both supports the 3 watt Vivo Flash Charge 2.0 which is something you've already seen on previous Vivo models. So cameras, both phones have a similar camera layout and they also have similar camera specs. Um, you get a 64 megapixel main lens and apparently an 8 megapixel multifunctional camera so it actually works as a super wide angle lens, a macro lens and also a bokeh lens and another 2 megapixel mono lens. On the front, both have a 44 megapixel front camera but the Pro has an additional 8 megapixel super wide angle camera. Okay, so since both phones have almost similar camera specs, uh, we just use the V20 to take some photos and here's what they look like. With its main camera, you can see that the details are really there. Um, even when it comes to the grass and the trees that are taken far away, you can see the tiny tiny details and the photo doesn't overexpose. But when you use this super wide lens, which is the 8 megapixel camera, which is still nice, the colour is still nice, just that the details get blurrier. If you zoom in on the trees or the grass, they appear a little bit muddy. And if we use this 8 megapixel super macro lens, it actually captures a lot of details even when you're super close up to your subjects. So you can actually see this sonic head, there's a lot of dust on it, which you probably won't notice if you're not really looking. Also, if you use the 8 megapixel lens as a bokeh lens, you realize that when you set it to the lowest aperture, the cutout isn't that accurate. You'll see that there's this ion sticker at the back of my head that was also not blurred. Now for selfies, I actually use both phones. Um, this one on this 44 megapixel lens and this one on the extra 8 megapixel um, super wide angle lens. The difference aren't that huge, just that this is obviously clearer since it's using a higher megapixel lens. But the good part is you get to use the V20 Pro to take wider angle selfies. So, you know, it's good for if you're selfieing with your friends. Now the last thing, but not the least important thing, in fact, I think it's one of the best features of this phone, I guess, is um, its ability to take 4K selfie videos. So I've tested it out and the colors are nice, it's really clear and I also turned on this steady face mode so I think that's for stabilization and you can see the video is actually not very wonky and stuff so it's a pretty good feature. So that's it for the unboxing of the V20 series. Uh, honestly, both phones are great when you talk about photography. But if you like this fancy color and perhaps the headphone jack, then you can go for the V20. Or if you want that extra lens on the front camera 
and um, oh, 5G connectivity, then perhaps you should go for the V20 Pro. Now, at the time of shooting, we actually don't know the price of both phones yet, but we'll be sure to keep you updated by um, putting it in the description box once we know. So Vivo is also having a giveaway where 5 lucky winners will be chosen to win exclusive prizes from Vivo. So if you're interested in participating in this giveaway, uh, we'll put a link in the description box or comment section down below. So be sure to click on it to join. So that's the end of the video. Do let us know in the comment section below why you prefer the V20 Pro or the V20. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel KL Gadget TV and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.